Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Soda Dungeon 2, and sorry for the terrible quality. I, this is actually on my phone, this is the only way I could figure out how to record it. Because it's not coming out on Steam till like July 9th for some reason, even though it's on the phone app. Um, so far the game has been, if, if you were waiting a long time for Soda Dungeon 2 after getting Soda Dungeon 1, you might be a little bit disappointed. Because not too much has changed, and the changes they've made aren't like fantastic um i've been playing this and it's i still enjoy it just because i got on soda dungeon one like way towards the tail land so i didn't have to wait too long but it's one of the few games i 100 percented, so i'm super excited for the game on steam um i don't like the phone game too much just because i like to do other things while i'm uh gaming or especially in an idle game but this kind of like if i close it to do something on my phone usually when i come back it'll restart the whole game so you can't make too much progress with it, which is really annoying. Um, to talk about the classes, you got your Junkie, which is about the, is, is exactly the same. You have Miners because you have actual ore now, because you can craft things. Um, the crafting just kind of seems uh, like an additional annoyance to like get the higher geared items, because it was pretty easy to get items in Soda Dungeon 1. You didn't have to struggle too, far, too hard to get them. In this one, you kind of have to craft, and you can upgrade your weapons instead of like having the weapons always drop you can actually upgrade them now this is the huntress well I don't know. this is the huntress the one in the middle with the orange hair um her ability she's supposed to get stronger every time like a monster gets killed permanently like against that monster like she's supposed to be permanently stronger against it but it doesn't seem like it works because i've had her fighting for a hot minute. She's like my highest level of character because the characters level up now. I don't know if they did in the first one or not. Um, but she doesn't seem like she's getting more damage or anything like that against those enemies. So that's kind of disappointing. That's the last dude you unlocked. He's called the Blade Master, that little blue haired dude. And he can fight with two swords and he'll hit with both of them on the same turn. But he's kind of useless because like when he does his attack, he can't attack for the next turn. So you're hitting twice as hard but you're not then you're done for a turn the dark mage i think is going to be still the most op thing in the game because she has the same exact ability and once i get like a spell cap the spell power bottle cap this kind of works the same way as the bottle caps from the first one where you can level them up and they give you certain things like gold or spell power or whatever it is once i get the spell power one of that i'm just going to switch my whole deck to the dark mage as usual because she just runs everything so fast with her AoE and it's pretty broken when you get like four or five of them. There's not a Templar dude anymore that has like an AoE heal. You have a nurse, which is this. She's hiding behind the thing. Let me reset the thing, see if I'll get one in the middle. No, nope. and get a nurse. You got the thief, which is the same as well. There's a nurse right there. Um, she heals one person at a time. She's like a crappier version of the guy that could heal everybody on the same turn. You also have a Lumberjack. The only reason I can see to get him that I know of so far is because you have a, you have to build your buildings in this one, um, which is this shop right here. And let me see if I can get it on the screen. Yeah, this one right here. You click it and you actually have to like purchase the buildings now. Um, that's the only use I see for him. Other than that, he just seems kind of like a little bit stronger junkie that you can get. The wizard's still here. You have a stable for your pets like you had in the first one. You have an arena, which is about the same as the first one. I haven't done the warrior one yet, but I'm assuming it's about the same. Competitor is exactly the same, where you just do the um, the mission. And let me get three real quick, just to see what the warrior thing is, because I haven't done that myself. But yeah, the combat works exactly the same as the first one. There's a new story, which is kind of cool. Let's see what this does. This might be the exact same thing as competitor, just, just like harder. Turn on your auto battle, and it's just the exact same thing. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for it to come out on Steam because doing it on the phone is not really my kind of thing. I'm not a big phone gamer, especially when I can't do other things on my phone while I'm playing because I like to multitask a lot. That's why I got two screens on my computer. But yeah, there's not too much that's changed really and the changes that have been made i would say actually i dislike <laughs> i like the new story i guess um but the crafting system's just kind of annoying mining's kind of annoying because it's really just like 
oh, put a miner in your party. You can mine without the mi uh, the miner because you get these keys now. You can see in the bottom left. And every, like, so many stages randomly, you'll get to choose a path. And one of them could be a mine shaft. And you can mine those without the miner. But if you run into a random ore, like in a battle or something, if you're on auto, you will not mine it unless you have a miner in your party. So that, and the miner is not like a stronger unit or anything. Something that I can't really judge yet is that I wonder if warriors like you just keep going forever or until you lose. One thing I can't judge yet is that the characters, when they get to 50, you remember how the um, classes had like certain class abilities, like the um, junkie, for example, had, I think it was like a jump or something when you got him like so advanced or something when you get to 50 it seems like get like a class to level 50 i think they probably unlock a new ability in like a bottle cap so you can upgrade it kind of like in the first one but i haven't got a character to 50 yet and i've been playing it not like die hard but i've been playing it pretty regularly and it seems like it's going to be a bit of a grind because huntress is my highest and i think she's at like 27 and i've already ascended like four times this is my fourth ascension um, so it's it's gonna be kind of a grind to see what that is. It's kind of cool that your characters level up I don't know if they did that in the first one or not. I don't remember. I thought they did something like that I know you could level up their bottle caps. Yeah, this looks like it's just a um, Survival thing, but this is a nice way to show the combat's the same um, The AI seems to work a little bit better. Oh, does she get an AOE heal? What just happened there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you have an AOE heal now? Oh, she unlocked an AOE heal because it used she used to not have that cool. That's sick actually. I don't know where she got that from, but AI, the AI does seem a little bit smarter in this one. Um, so I guess you can unlock, a, like, uh, none of these are 50. They're like 25. Maybe they unlocked it at 25. That's kind of cool. Um, I, but I don't know if the Huntress thing's a glitch or not, where she's supposed to get stronger for every unit she's fought, because I've been killing the crap out of units with them. Like, I've been, you know how you can, like, start at whatever floor you want to once you use a wizard? I've started at, like, floor 1 with her all the way to, like, floor... 300 like multiple times and she seems to be hitting like for the same amount of damage Maybe I'm not understanding how it works or it just like doesn't work yet. I don't know It seems like a weaker version of that one dude that you could keep him in and he got stronger as like the waves progressed Okay, so yeah, there is a max out. I guess it was 10 But let me see Let me read you what the huntress does higher Because it just doesn't seem like it works for me Unless I'm not understanding it. Soul Bond. For each enemy defeated, deal higher damage to that same type. But, yeah. I've done that and she doesn't seem like her damage goes up at all. Um, I know there was like a fighter dude in the first one where he would like get stronger as the dungeon progressed. He was a lot of fun. I enjoyed him. But there's nothing like that. The thief works about the same. I haven't apparently locked out, unlocked all the class abilities. That guy might get good eventually. The Blade Master dude. But right now he's just garbage to be honest. Um, but other than that, there's not too many changes. Not too much new. And this is usually where you go to um, ascend, pretty much. And that's your dungeon back there. You can, like in the first one, pick your floor. But, like, this is just coming out, so maybe they'll add things. I Like I said, I wasn't at the beginning of Soda Dungeon 1, so I don't know how much they actually added and how much was the base game. I hope they add a lot of stuff to this. I hope that's what they do with Soda Dungeon 1 as well, um, instead of it all releasing at once. Because if it, if Soda Dungeon 1 released all at once, and this is what we got for Soda Dungeon 2 all at once, uh, I think Soda Dungeon 1 was better. I think this will be more of a grind, but Soda Dungeon 1 was a lot more fun. And I'm being biased because I only have it on the phone right now. I'm really excited to get it on Steam, which is why I'm doing a video now instead of waiting. But yeah, sorry about the bad quality again. Um, but thanks for watching, and as always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll leave a link to Soda Dungeon 2 on Steam, so you can wishlist if you want to try it for yourself. It's by far my favorite idle game. I wouldn't recommend it on the phone, though, because I do not like the fact that I can only do this without having to restart the whole dungeon. I think that sucks. That's really bad. Definitely because I like to go on freaking Plenty of Fish or something and just swipe through chicks while I'm <laughs> doing something or anything on my phone. Uh, but yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.